Amen. I'm gonna write the things like so. So when I start talking about Elijah, I, you, you just gotta find there. Amen. <laughs> Elijah. Yes, you gotta have to go first thing chapter 17. That's the ravens. Alright, so let's go because it's back today. And the ravens brought them bread and flesh in the morning. I want you to see how supernatural God is. But a sour one, that's the happy in the house, but the Jones, but the carry. Hallelujah. We give God thanks and praise Him. As we trust God, though we are little, we can do great exploits to God. Because I want you to see how the little can go a long way in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Watch this. The prophets are, in verse number 6 of first Kings 17, and the ravens brought in bread and flesh. In the morning, I ran and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. See what? You see the humility of this man? He's, he's drinking of the brook, low places. And it came to pass, what just? Why is that the brook dry up? My goodness, some things dry up. Because there had been no rain in the land. The man said unto King Ahab, according to my word, you can turn it up a little bit, that there is not going to be rain on you until I speak. That's why you need a prophet in your life. He says to Ahab, it's not my, I'm not the, the troublemaker in Israel, and they call him the troublemaker, because you couldn't buy Elijah. Elijah was so radical that uh, King Ahab and Jezebel had 50 other prophets, uh, but they were both. But when you're a real man of God, uh, you can't be both. <laughs> so the prophet, uh, it goes into hiding based on a divine command. Glory to God. And what hides him by the book chariot. Somebody say chariot. Yeah. It is a place of resting. He, he wanted it to rest the one. And to my amazement, I would say God will send one of the other prophets to bring in supplies. Yeah, God can feed you in supernatural ways. The Bible says that that God had commanded ravens. Normally a raven, when they catch that meat, will eat that meat. Somebody say, I'm going to give into his kingdom. Yeah. But, but I, I'm not going to pull fingers out. But I want you to see a principle here. It doesn't matter how much you have. But God looks at the uh, heart of the one giving it. Glory to God. Yeah. And the Bible says, and it came to pass, uh, and sometimes in life, uh, there are things that dry up in our lives uh, because there has been no rain in the land. The Bible says, verse number 8, and here's the message today. The word of the Lord came on things saying, somebody say, thank God for his word. I want you to see it in the Bible that never before we must appreciate the word of God. Man does not live on, but every that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Whatever you do in this life, get a word. Get a word to survive for. We are hearing all sorts of news coming in. And the Lord whispered in my head early this morning and he said, the, the plan is to invoke fear on the people. And I'm giving you a principle that is a prophetic principle. If you will refuse to fear this virus, you will outlast it. Somebody say, I will live, I will live. and not die. not die. I will outlast this virus. I will outlast what I'm saying to you. And I'm not saying uh, be radical like the preacher at times. Uh, I want you to put on your mask uh, and sanitize and be careful where you're going. Uh, but this I know, uh, if God says I'm going over, I can't go under. If God says we make it to the other side, we're going over to the other side. I don't care how you make it, but God says you're going to make it. Amen. I feel this word in my spirit. You're going to have to deal with me. And the word of the Lord came unto him, say, Arise, get to Zephyrphat. Somebody say, Zephyrphat. Yeah. The place of refining. The place, say, the place. Of refining. of refining. When faith is tested, you're going to have to trust God. Amen. Not only is the prophet tested, but this widow is tested also. Yes. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. That the whole world is going through a big test. Yes. When faith is tested, we need a word from God. And watch this. Arise. Get me to Zerubbabel. Somebody say, I must get there. I must get there. Whatever you do, I must get to that place that God has me. Whatever, whatever is going on in your life, I, I don't care what is happening, but I must get to the place where God wants me to be. Yes. He knows that it's much. I can preach right there. Arise, get me to Zerubbabel, which belongs to Zion, and dwell there. Somebody said, dwell there. Right. Yes, the house of God. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain me. My goodness. Uh, I've commanded a widow woman to sustain. I've commanded, and I'm going to bless you with unlikely sources uh, because I operate on a different dimension. Uh, glory to God. That's the God who we serve. It says, I've uh, commanded. Somebody said, commanded. commanded. Yes. When God commands it, nobody can stop it. Uh. So he arose and went to Zebulun. When he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. Somebody say gathering sticks. Right. Yes, I'm going to explain that. And he called to her. God spoke to him. He obeyed and he landed at a place called Zebulun. Gathering sticks and he called to her and said, Fetch me, don't be embarrassed. It's not God's treatment. It's just the people, uh, meaning I beg of me. Fetch me, I pray thee a little, somebody say a little water in a vessel that I may drink. Remember the book dried up that I may drink as she was going to fetch it. See the obedience of this woman. He called to her again and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy hand. Somebody say, from my, my hand to your hand. hand. Somebody say, hands together. Hands together. Yeah, anointed. What's this song? And I want you, I pray thee, bring me, I pray thee, bring me, I, I am commanding you, bring me, I pray thee. A morsel of bread in thy hand. And she said, as the Lord thy God liveth. She recognized something about it. I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a bottle, and a little oil in the cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it 